Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now I got a few things I got to do, so I'm gonna make this quick. Uh, but I read this. I wanted to make sure that you guys understand something. In the heavyweight division, we had Anthony Joshua just knocking out Robert Linus in round seven. Um, a pretty good fight, you right, right? They got a little bit booed in round three because, you know, Anthony Joshua said he's going to knock him out in one round. So that made people think it was going to be a lot of super duper action. But it was enough action. You know, they were jabbing and finding themselves or whatever. But, you know, Anthony Joshua got booed in his, on his home turf, right? So, um, you know, people have expectations. That's what happens when you say something like that before a fight. I was telling y'all about that. But at the end of the day, Anthony Joshua got what he needed. A one-punch knockout. And that would make us all really, you know, want the uh, Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder fight. It makes it a, a bigger fight. You know, they both knocked Hellenius out and whatever, right? But uh, as far as England goes, they don't feel Anthony Joshua is ready for a Deontay Wilder fight, right? England doesn't feel like he's ready for a um, Deontay Wilder fight. I guess they're watching the same fight that we were. Uh, and England's felt this way a while, but right now it's really obvious. You're talking about great fighters themselves, like a David Hay. David Hay thinks he needs to wait, have a fight or two in between before fighting Deontay Wilder. Tony Bellew, who beat David Hay and was also a great fighter, uh, says the exact same thing. They don't want him to happen. They don't want it to happen. And Mr. Anthony Joshua, before Anthony Joshua, that's uh, uh, Bruno, Frank Bruno, uh, you know, who's a, a, you know, a legend there. He's thinking, nope, he's not ready. He should have a few fights before fighting Deontay Wilder. Uh, that, that's significant information, people. Because, you know, Deontay Wilder, uh, in, as far as America goes, he's a Negro League fighter, meaning uh, fighters that are awesome, that doesn't get the, the promotion or, or publicity or fame or money, actually, that they deserve. And so when you're looking at that, you're looking at people like, Deontay Wilder. I'm not going to get into the other ones that I say that about, but Deontay Wilder, he's also obviously awesome. People always say that he's not as good as Deontay, uh, good as Anthony Joshua. He's not as technical. Anthony Joshua's a better fighter. All of those things. But when it comes time for those two to fight, we don't think that one of them is ready for the other one. So the one that's ready all the time should be considered the best, don't you think? But in boxing, it's not. I would say Canelo and Demetrius Andrade. I'm just not going to go there, you know? People know who the better fighter is. It doesn't matter who's more technical or whatever. It's the one who's going to win at the end. The one who's going to win at the end more times than the other one is the better fighter. Doesn't matter how. If you're going to swim 100 meters, it doesn't really matter how you get there, right? As long as you're doing, those, you know, they say freestyle, as long as it's freestyle, but it don't matter how. If you get there quicker, you got there quicker. If you sprint 100, 100 meters, doesn't matter if you take your knees up real high or if you don't take them up high. As long as you get there. You see what I'm saying? And so it doesn't matter how Deontay Wilder's knocking every single body down, at least who he fought, right? Listen, they both coming off losses. So there's no excuse for people to think that Anthony Joshua, with all this experience, is not ready for Deontay Wilder. Translation, Deontay Wilder is awesome. Let's just say that. So just in case they don't say that, I'm saying this here. Deontay Wilder is so awesome that an Anthony Joshua, who's been fighting for years, is not ready to fight him right now. That's that's just awesome news if you if you uh, if you ask me. Doma Sports Talk worldwide, and I'm up out of here, y'all.